This is the biggest act of eco-terrorism in U.S. history, a fire deliberately set on the night of August 1, 2003, that destroyed this nearly completed $23 million apartment complex just outside San Diego, a fire set to protest urban sprawl. This is the biggest fire I have ever responded to as a firefighter. By the time the fire burned itself out the next morning, all that remained was a 12-foot-long banner that read, if you build it, we will burn it. Also on the banner was the acronym ELF. When you saw that banner, what went through your mind? I knew I had a problem. A problem because he knew what ELF stood for. The Earth Liberation Front, the most radical friend of the environmental movement. It's the same group that set nine simultaneous fires across the Vail Mountain Ski Resort in 1998 to protest its expansion, causing $12 million in damage. And the same group that left SUV dealerships across America looking like scenes from the Sunni Triangle, their way of protesting the gas-guzzling habits of American car buyers. The ELF is a spin-off of another group called the ALF, or Animal Liberation Front whose masked members have been known to videotape themselves breaking into research labs where they destroy years of painstaking work and free captive animals. In recent years, they've capped off their visits by burning down the buildings. Still, they insist they are nonviolent. For every arson that I've carried out, there's probably been three or four that were not carried out for that fear of injuring somebody. Ron Coronado, a former ALF leader, is widely credited with introducing arson to the cause. He spent four years in prison for setting six fires, including this one at Michigan State University. But why burn a building down? Aren't you putting people at risk when you do that? It's simply because after years of rescuing animals from laboratories, it was heartbreaking to see those buildings and those cages refilled within the following days and uh, for that reason arson has become a necessary tool Coronado says the ALF and ELF operate in small autonomous cells 